Hello everyone, I hope you all had a great week. Now a lot of you may already know that we headed over to Ibiza for a couple of days to celebrate our 18th wedding anniversary. So I thought you might enjoy seeing everything I actually wore and of course what we did. So first things first, let me get my heavy suitcase and I can show you everything I took just about under the 10 kilograms I was allowed. And for me, I was quite last minute packing as well. So I think I did quite well considering. So we got cheapy flights with Ryanair, which was fine. And actually the outfit that I'm wearing today is what I wore on the plane. And generally, obviously as well, I try and wear the heavier items rather than packing them in my suitcase. So of course it was May and I definitely needed to have a pair of jeans with me. Not that that ever stops me actually. I always quite annoyingly actually seem to want to pack a pair of jeans wherever I'm going. It could be like the height of summer in Santorini and I'll pack a pair of jeans and never wear them. But anyway, this time I actually did need them. It was quite handy to have these with me. Oh, and I did wear my sandals on my feet as well, just so it was one less thing to pack. And I did actually pack my gold sandals too, which a little bit like my jeans that I always take away with me. That was a bit silly really, because I never even got them out of the suitcase. So although this was sold to me by David as a lovely celebration for our wedding anniversary, as is often the case, he then booked a couple of gigs to do in Ibiza. In all honesty, I didn't really mind because they were places that we would go anyway. So the first gig was going to be at a place called Pikes, which is a hotel, but it's also a venue that they have parties there. And they do a really big and quite amazing Sunday roast on a Sunday, obviously. And then they have a bit of a party afterwards. Our lovely friend of 20 years or so is actually the chef there. So he saved us a plate of food very kindly. So we had a quick bite to eat and then we went to our room. So that brilliant pink room there is actually the restaurant and then come the evening that turns into a bit of a chill out area. But if you see in this footage on the left hand side, there's a little door. That was actually our room for the night. So very much in the thick of it. I think when we checked in, she said, oh, you're in the party room. And I was thinking, no, don't put us in the noisy party room. I want the quiet room at the back of the hotel. Now, the nice thing about Ibiza is that you could literally wear any outfit you've got in your entire wardrobe and know that it would be absolutely fine. It's very much the kind of place that anything goes. So we got into the room and I changed into my outfit for the evening and I eventually, after much faffing around, decided upon that raw silk dress that I got the other week from Jenny Kane. Now in truth, I'd had a mojito at dinner already and I'm not the biggest drinker in the world, I'm a bit of a lightweight in all honesty, so my head was spinning a little bit already, which might be why I spent the best part of half an hour in the room deciding whether I should or shouldn't put on a belt to go with the dress. Anyway, I did in the end add it and I think it worked nicely, just gave me a little bit more definition at the waist. I took my tan leather bucket bag with me as well. So I just carried that on my shoulder and I'd got a little bit of makeup in there. So that was my outfit for the evening and it felt really nice actually. And it was surprisingly for May, I suppose, still quite warm in the evening. So I think any more layers than that and I probably would have been too hot. So come the next day, I wasn't feeling quite so fresh, I must admit, but I don't like to miss any opportunity in the sunshine, so I headed straight down to the pool. So my second outfit idea I took with me was this lovely co-ord set that I bought recently from Me and M. I showed you this one the other week. I absolutely love it. My favorite fabric and unusual for me, having a great big pop of color in my wardrobe is quite a refreshing change. So let me show you actually the bikini that I finally decided upon. I found some really beautiful swimwear, but they were all fairly expensive. Um, and then actually a lovely follower, she sent me a message. She said, actually, I've seen a brown bikini. I think this is what you're looking for. So I bought it and not only was it the most affordable of the bunch, I actually think it had the nicest fit. In fact, when I showed David the footage of the ones in Selfridges and then tried this one on, he said, this one looked far more expensive than some of the others that were 350 pounds. So a slightly balconet shape on the top half and then just normal briefs on the bottom. And then of course, in that lovely brown color. So I did think that was a good buy all round. Another area that you can probably learn from my bad packing <laughs> mistakes is if you're only going somewhere for three days, you definitely don't need, how many have I got? One, two, three, four items of swimwear. Because actually I didn't even get these out the suitcase, <laughs> which is a bit rubbish really and probably a very bad use of space. <laughs> I do love this one though. This is the one I bought last summer um, from a brand called Alexandra Miro. She's got a beautiful, beautiful collection. So I'd had a little bit of breakfast by this point and was feeling a lot better and we headed out for the day um, close by actually to a beach bar place called Cala Grecianetta. 
This is one of my absolute favorite places to go in Ibiza for the day, really. You do need to book, so if you are heading there, I would advise booking in advance because it's very hard to get a table. But you can go and hang out there all day. They've got this beautiful little cove and beach, really clear water. It's really, really gorgeous. And we've been there before with the boys, actually, and they can very safely jump off the rocks into the water. It's quite shallow. It's not cheap, I will say, in terms of lunch, but really, really beautiful. So as a special treat, I think that would be definitely somewhere I would recommend. After a lovely day at the beach and having a beautiful time at Calagrasinetta, we then popped back to Pikes, got our suitcases because we were going to stay in a different place in Ibiza town for the second night. I can't remember off the top of my head the name of the hotel, but I shall add it in the description box below. It wasn't posh or flash or anything like that. It was just a really good basic base in Ibiza town if that's what you're looking for, which is exactly what we wanted to be honest. Perhaps if you're going away on a girl's trip, it would be a perfect hotel for that because you've got a really central base. It wasn't silly money and even on the rooftop of the hotel you'd got a pool and somewhere where you could all sunbathe and there was a bar up there and Ibiza town is beautiful definitely somewhere I would recommend you go and have a look around certainly up in the Dolt Villa area it's probably what I would describe as the typical original Ibiza and all those lovely winding cobblestone streets it's really beautiful so that next evening we were heading to Mambo's for sunset David was going to be DJing that's often the tricky thing actually especially when we're traveling on our own and not with the children or a group of friends is that when he's DJing and if I don't know anybody you kind of stand there like a bit of a spare part not knowing what to do but luckily we were catching up with some friends who live over in Ibiza so I wasn't going to be on my own some of you might have seen this over on Instagram I managed to collate together a very little reel um, but I wanted to save the main footage for you guys over here we're in a rush so David's moaning if I spend too long filming my outfit I think that is what I'm wearing. <laughs> I decided to wear this beautiful Suzanne dress that you might remember I bought um, a couple of months ago, I think when it first came back in stock again. So this one, if you don't already know, is made from a blend of linen and cotton. You've got that absolutely stunning embroidery that goes down the sleeves and around the chest portion and that lovely little frill around the neck as well. But as I did with a lot of my outfits, um, I added the tan leather belt again, tied in nicely with my sandals and my bucket bag. And again, if you're heading over to Ibiza, I can highly, highly recommend you head to Mambo's for sunset. It's definitely the place to go. They have this beautiful sunset across the water. In fact, one of my other favorite places for sunset and as a hotel as well, actually, that's probably a bit more like a B&B is a place called Hostel La Torre. They call it Hostel La Torre, but it's not hostel. It's more like a, a bed and breakfast kind of, that's how I would describe it. Really nice room really lovely setting but what I think is particularly lovely is the bar area is in the evening they serve really nice tapas and then you've got all these tables that sit out um, on the cliff edge you've kind of got these two hills um, either side of the view and then the sunset goes down the middle it's really really beautiful then my next outfit idea which I got a very tiny clip of on the balcony so apologies <laughs> for that really rubbish bit of footage but I did take my new H&M caftan with me so we had a little bit of a mooch around Ibiza town and that is what I wore I'm definitely going to take that on holiday with me um, in the summer when we go with the boys as well so I think that's really handy then we were heading to another beach bar kind of place for the daytime so I actually changed into my lovely little shorts that I've got in this blend of cotton and linen. I've got these in the brown tone as well, actually. I find them a really nice, flattering pair of shorts. Um, but I took the cream away with me because I thought it would look particularly nice with this little knitted camisole. Um, I found that is a little bit big on the straps. So again, a bit like the, the cosy, I did a little bit of a knot on those back straps, um, which I don't think really matters because it kind of fits in with that slightly bohemian looking outfit. So our friends the night before had recommended a new place um, to check out uh, called Alma Beach. Arrived there and sadly it wasn't open for the season yet, which is so disappointing because it looked really, really lovely. So a bit of a happy accident, I literally got on Google Maps and put in beach beach bar nearby and it came up with this Calabasa Beach Club which looked like it was five miles away. Fine, we'll do that, let's drive there. Oh, that is one thing to mention actually, it's very, very handy to have a car in Ibiza 
Um, you can rent them very, very cheap. Uh, we used a, a company called Weber or Weber. And then you can explore a bit as well and find those little hidden beaches, which I'll tell you about in a moment. So anyway, Calabasa Beach Club was a really happy accident because it was beautiful. You'd got a little bit of a shop. Um, we just got a sun lounger for the day. And although obviously Ibiza is quite expensive just generally, it wasn't one of those where you thought, oh wow, I'm gonna need to remortgage my house to have a bit of lunch here. It didn't feel like that. So they set up a little table for you and you can have this amazing lunch at the beach. You can, of course, and we saw people ordering champagne and having a whale of a time sat on their sun loungers in the sunshine, but we kept it very chilled with a bit of goat's cheese salad and a nice Diet Coke. Now we were only there for a couple of days, so we were trying to squeeze as much in as we possibly could. And I think we did quite well considering it was only three days. But if you go and you've got a bit more time than we had, there are definitely a few places I would recommend you go. One of my favorite beach clubs to go to, which you must, when you Google it actually, so you've got to write El Chiringuito Es Cavalier, and then you get the right place. So that's definitely somewhere I would recommend. And then I think they also own one of my other favorites, which is called the Beach House. Um, similar kind of vibe, you can stay all day, you just pay for the lounger and have lunch, really beautiful. Um, that one gets a bit more party atmosphere once the sun goes down as well. So if you want something that goes through to the evening as well, and you can have a few drinks and dinner, um, that's probably somewhere I would recommend. I love, love, love a beach called Caledon Serra. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it's quite a trek, so again, you would need a car or you'd spend a fortune in a taxi. It's the north of the island, probably almost straight up actually, the, the furthest point. It's this little cove that feels very hidden. It almost reminds me of um, Pee Pee, you know, in Thailand. It's that kind of hidden feeling and the water is so crystal clear. It's absolutely beautiful. Hotel-wise, I've mentioned Hostel La Torre. Another one would be Hacienda. Um, again, that's further north of the island, so if you wanted something a bit quieter perhaps, um, but that lovely laid-back luxury, that's somewhere I would recommend. Um, and you can also book to go there for lunch as well, and it's got this amazing view of the island, so definitely worth heading up there too. And another lovely restaurant, um, hopefully it's still there actually, I didn't check this time around, um, it's called Calabonita. So you can book to go and have lunch at Calabonita and then have one of the sun loungers, which were much more affordable than some of the other beach bars as well. I feel like stressing this to people because they have in their head, oh, it's party island, but it's so much more than that. Ibiza for me is all about those beautiful beach bars and those gorgeous views and having a wander around the old Ibethan town, discovering those little gems of beaches that you've not spotted before. So although this video is not sponsored by the Ibiza Tourism Board. I do sound like it is. Hopefully though I've convinced at least a few of you to look into it at least because it's so much more beautiful than probably lots of you realise. So that is pretty much it. What I wore and did in Ibiza this summer 2023. I really hope you've enjoyed this little vlog and lots of waffling about our trip away. I would love to hear from you all in the comments below. Maybe you've been to Ibiza before and you've found your own hidden gems of favourite places always up for hearing new recommendations so do let me know your favorites in the comments below and as always i shall link all the outfits that i'm wearing in the description box too apologies again for the really rubbish filming but hopefully you get the gist of those outfit ideas and you like them anyway have a wonderful week everyone and i will see you on sunday take care